Hey everybody, welcome back to My Wings of Refuge. I am so excited today, y'all, because I have been wanting to tell you about this miracle. So many people have been talking about losing their honeybees over the winter, uh, especially in March, in the early spring, uh, there was a lot of people had gone out, checked on their bees, and found that their bees were dead because we did have a really um, week or two there where the winter was just really intense. And so I had kept seeing bees. We had a lot of bees uh, going into winter. Everything looked great. And then we were seeing bee activity. We saw bees on flowers and different things. So I wasn't real worried until I started seeing my bee numbers reduce. And so I went out to check to see what was going on. And that is when I discovered it. So I'm wanting to show you some video footage. To fully grasp this, you have to turn up the volume and look very carefully. This was so intense that it was really hard to capture on film. You almost had to be here. And it wasn't one of those things where you could run to the house and grab cameras and go back and set things up because things were moving and shaking. I kid you not. The sound was unbelievable. And what I saw was even more so. So, I don't have answers for you on exactly what happened to our beehive. What I can tell you is, I did have the authorities come to take a look. They went through the hive, they took pictures, they took samples, they sent it to the university. Um, I can tell you it was not mites. I can tell you it was not um, hive beetles or wax moths. Um, and they did not die from that cold spell because if they had, there would have been dead bees there in the hive. And so that was not at all what we saw. So when we opened up the hive, there was only a small cluster of bees that were dead. So we did have something to actually send off. Um, but then it was just miraculously, I was praying. I, I, Y'all, this may sound crazy, but I pray over our animals. I pray over uh, this farm and our gardens and the bees. This is something that I do routinely because I want God to um, oversee everything. I want His divine protection over everything. And I believe He gives us the desires of our hearts that if we just ask that He is there to take care of us and to answer those prayers, I believe in answered prayers. So, I am praying, Lord, our bees are gone. Lord, please just be with our bees wherever they are. And it's hard to ask for, Lord, can you send me some bees? I just said, Lord, 
if it is your will to send us bees. And if it's not, I totally understand. I get it. But when I prayed for those bees, and lo and behold, it was days, just a couple of days later, literally, those bees showed up. I don't believe it was my exact bees. It could be. They may have left and went somewhere into a tree or something other and they came back. I have no idea and will probably never know. But I did get an answer to my prayer because the bees came, the honeybees. It has filled the boxes. Now, over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to let them get used to their new home. They've been there now long enough, I can say, that they're here to stay. Um, I can't wait to go in and check things out and see what they've done. They have been busy. I can tell they are busy. They are busy in my garden. They are busy. They're actually climbing on the camera right now. Uh, they're all of my flowers, and I am so happy to have those bees. So y'all, if anything is going on on your farm or in your life or even with your bees, start with prayer. Prayer is a powerful tool and you just never know how or when the Lord is just going to answer. So be prepared. Expect the unexpected. Pray with expectation that He's going to answer. Y'all, stay tuned. There is so much happening here on this farm. I cannot wait to tell you about it all. So stay tuned. See you next week.